Look at the top. These motherfuckers are crazy. These motherfuckers are crazy. Did you find anything? <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Get you. <laughs> What's going on? How y'all doing? What's up, buddy? I figured I'd let you ask him, man. Well, ask him what? Over here, you over here asking questions? You have a I, question? I was, I was asking you, was you breaking in the car? Well, no, no? no, no, not yet. Looks like you're some marijuana. Have you been smoking some marijuana here, sir? Uh, nah. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in on the baby, man. This shit crazy. Uh, he actually did a toy drive yesterday out in his hometown, Charlotte, North Carolina. Passed out all type of toys to the kids, giving back as a lot of rappers were yesterday and been doing this whole week. Uh, shout out to the baby, man. He always showing the fans love, giving back, everything in that nature. But he had a show last night. And the motherfucking Charlotte PD, whatever they call a police department, decided to harass him and illegally search his motherfucking car. As you seen in the beginning of the video, dog, they were clearly there doing an unlawful search. The nigga car is parked in the parking lot. They coming through with lights and gadgets trying to see all in the shit. That is motherfucking illegal. That is stalking. That is harassment. That is a whole lot of shit all in one. So Baby was eventually like he wasn't arrested, but he was put in handcuffs from what they say. But at the end of the day, that's still harassment. The Baby went and did a press conference, uh, spoke on it, exposed them. They 100% exposed. They got to cut that shit out, man. Like I'm telling y'all. Police are now everywhere targeting the rappers. Now, I've been saying this shit since last year. We've been knowing it ain't a secret, but now it's more and more heavy. Of course, New York is the lead forefront of hip-hop police, but we know that they have little sections in every area that you know are there to track down rappers or try to catch rappers slipping or catch street dudes slipping on Instagram and social media. But now they going out of their way to motherfucking go after rappers. You know what I'm saying? They trying to take the rap game down. I don't know why. It's like these dudes are haters. Uh, are rappers smoking weed? Yes. Do some rappers not all do other type of drugs? Yes, they do. Do rappers have guns at times? Yes, they do. But 90% of the time, an established rapper on ba the baby's level, if he has a firearm on him, it is for protection. Police know this. That's a fact. Uh, if you see him having drugs on him, it is for personal use when you're on this level. Dude did over a billion streams this year. Do we really think he's out here selling drugs and killing innocent people? No. Dude has got a Nike deal. Uh, killing the game, dog. One of the fastest growing, hottest artists in the game right now. Then put five and six and seven, eight years of work into this shit to get to the level that he's on. And they from his hometown. Like he just did. Went and performed the show. Gave back to the community. You still come and arrest him thinking he got drugs on whether he did or he didn't, man. Police, y'all got to get y'all shit together. Uh, Charlotte got hip hop police now. We just seen what happened to Wayne. You seen what was happening in Juice World. They finna be all over rappers, man. Like I said in the other video. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Is the whole police department and federal uh, department or federal bureau of investigation, the feds, are they all just really trying to throw charges and get publicity? Off of locking up rappers at this point because that's what it's extremely starting to look like. Tell me what y'all think, man. Uh, shout out to the baby. Keep doing your thing. Keep dropping them hot ass tracks. Keep running it up on them, man. 1000. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at urbanpoliticians underscore big ant.